The EU US Privacy Shield is dead. What does it mean? If you want to find out, stay tuned. So, the EU US Privacy Shield has died a little bit of a death. And I want to go through what the impact is um, for our customers and for those of you using G Suite for your businesses. Now, I need to caveat this particular video though before I start, because I need people to know that I am not a lawyer and this is in no way legal advice. It's just an informational video on the particular um, ruling that has happened called SHREM2 that I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, tell you about. Um, and so I just need to caveat it with that. I'm gonna talk about four key areas. I'm gonna talk about what is the EU US Privacy Shield, to just define it for us. I'm gonna talk about what is SHREM2, which is the nickname given to the, the ruling um, from the Court of, uh, of Justice in the EU. I'm also gonna talk about what does this mean for cloud-based tools, um, and then what do I need to do, if anything, within my G Suite account, or what do you need to do within, within your G Suite account if you have one? So firstly, what is the EU US Privacy Shield? So I'm gonna be reading some of this because as I said, I'm not a lawyer. This is for informational purposes only. So according to GDPR, the transfer of personal data outside of the EEA or the European Economic Area um, is not allowed unless appropriate safeguards and protections um, to protect the transfer of data are put in place, okay? The most popular mechanism to achieve this up until July was the EU US Privacy Shield. Um, this framework, you might know its predecessor, it replaced the International Safe Harbor Principles or Agreement, which was actually um, invalidated by SHREM 1, which was the first case that the gentleman Max SHREM uh, brought. So the e EU Commission and the US administration in 2016 designed and built this particular framework called the EU um, US Privacy Shield Framework. And this allowed companies to self-certify. It was considered at the time to be um, an improvement on the previous Safe Harbor Agreement. I can actually remember when, when it came about. Um, and it allowed the flow of data between the EEA and the US. Um, in the US or from the US side, it was the FTC or the Federal Trade Commission that was the enforcing body for this. So that's what the EU US Privacy Shield was. SHREM2 um, was the second case brought by Matt Shrem, who's a data protection activist. Um, and he brought the case actually in Ireland um, against Facebook and, and it was around the transfer of data and GDPR. Not gonna get into the details of the, of the case. You can, you can um, look it up online and, and read about it in detail, but that's what it was. It was referred to the, to the CJEU, which is the Court of Justice of the EU. And on the 16th of July, 2020, uh, last month, the court declared the Privacy Shield framework to be invalid, okay? So what does this mean for um, cloud-based tools and really any, uh, any, anybody uh, transferring data outside of the European Union? Well, it means that the only way or the only means of transferring uh, personal data now outside of the EU is to make use of what's called the standard contractual clause. These are sometimes shortened to SCCs. And these are provided by the EU Commission or a national uh, advisory authority. The validity of the SECs was confirmed in the ruling by uh, the Court of Justice in the EU. Um, and I just want, as, as sort of uh, the safeguard mechanism um, that's been uh, glo globally applicable, I, I want to read um, what Google has said on this uh, just verbatim because I feel that um, it's important uh, for our own customers. So Google has said, in light of the recent Court of Justice European Union ruling on transfer uh, of data, and validating the EU US Privacy Shield, Google will be moving to a reliance on the standard contractual clause for relevant data transfers. This, as per the ruling, can continue to be a valid legal mechanism to transfer data under GDPR. We will share more information about these updates, including timelines, as soon as possible. The standard contractual clause 
are already offered as a transfer mechanism within Google Cloud. So these are already available to customers as a methodology um, for signing and agreeing to um, within your Google accounts. And I'm gonna cover that in the next section. So in the, what do I need to do within my own G Suite account? So there are two things that I think that you should check within your G Suite account. One is the legal section and the other is data regions. The legal section, you can find this uh, within the administrative control panel. You'll have to be a, a super admin and you can do a search for legal and it will show under the account settings, um, the legal and compliance section of your G Suite account. And in there, you will find the EU standard contract clause or model contract clause. And it, you can see if this has been signed, if not, um, you can agree and sign it. Obviously, we would advise that you have your legal teams uh, review this uh, before you do, but this will mean that you've put in, in place a standard uh, contractual clause with Google. And then the second is data regions. And if you have G Suite Business or you have G Suite Enterprise, then data regions are part of the features available to you. And data regions actually allow you to, uh, to tell Google, I would like my data to be held within the European Union. And so Google will migrate all of your data in its servers over to European only data centers. And there's one here in, in Ireland and you can actually look uh, within there where the different uh, data centers are as well. And that means that your data then will only be held within the European Union. If you're a global organization and you need some of your data for certain users to be held, um, in Europe and others to be held maybe in the US, you can actually um, have data regions uh, via uh, groups of users. So that's something that um, is now available as well. Okay, I'm going to leave or we're going to leave within um, the video or wherever this is posted, the, the blog post if you're looking on our website, um, some resources um, on uh, this particular topic. I know I did some research on this obviously um, and there were some interesting websites that I came across that were useful. Um, if you even just Google Shrems too, you'll, um, you'll find lots and lots of articles about it uh, that will go into it in much more detail. As I said, really, this is just about informing uh, our customers and our viewers uh, of this particular topic. I hope you guys found this useful uh, and I will chat to you guys next week. If you haven't already, please subscribe uh, or follow us if you're watching this on LinkedIn or one of our other social media channels. Thanks guys, see you next week.